guys, welcome back to Twilight Princess. In this part, we're gonna start. I mean, we're gonna do more of the Late Bed Temple. Give me one second while well, make sure the eyes are the same video. Okay, it looks like it is. Uh, let's go. I really want to get done with this dungeon, like now. Oh, wait, we got heart piece. See these things up here? Go ahead and claw shot onto it, and here's the first piece of heart. Collect five more. Or, collect four more, my bad. <laughs> I don't know what Light was thinking, really. He, he's suicidal. I'm just kidding. Uh, wait, uh... God, I just remember what we gotta do. We gotta head back down here. I'm stupid. Alright, so... You know, this guy... Oh, what the heck? How the heck did that miss him? Right. Uh... Okay, hold on. Where's that? Okay, now we gotta set this thing up. And that will make the water come this way. And now we can head in this room that we tried to access earlier, but we couldn't. pot kind of glitched out there for a second. And I think uh, you can go down there if you want. I think I know there's some enemies you can find, some rupees you can get. Again, I don't care. Because I'm not kidding. When we get, we are going to be able to get 200 rupees for seeing this cat that once we do the big side quest of the game that I know a lot of people don't like. And you know what? Another good thing. Oh, that keys. It kills keys. I love it. Hold on, where's he at? I just saw him. There he is. There we go. Uh, let me guess, let me guess. Uh, more bombs or arrows? Yep, I know it. I think there's actually one section in the whole dungeon that it, it gives you a freebie. It gives you like an enemy kind of bomb. Okay, let's see. What else? I know you gotta claw shot your way up here. This is actually going good. My Pinnacle Studios hasn't uh, frozen because I think it was around right here that it actually froze. All right, let me guess. Twenty rupees. It's got to be twenty rupees. Yay! I love being right sometimes. Oh god, that's so close. All right, we got a claw shot back onto the ivy. Work our way. Okay, I don't know why Link was climbing down. Okay, let's go over here. Be careful not to fall. Alright, there. I didn't say get back on. Okay. Let's head here. Okay, I've been recording actually for quite a while. Um, oh, here's another chew worm. Now you can bring him out. You don't have to waste your bombs. There we go. Okay, it's giving you arrows, and let me guess, there's a... Uh, yep, stalactite. Uh, let me get out this and this. Here we go, and boom. Climb on. Claw shot. Hello, you. I so hate these guys. I don't know how I didn't get hit. Okay, same thing. Just pull this down. Okay, there we go. And come over here. And claw shot onto that. Now I know we're near the compass. It's actually in this next room. And there's going to be two chew worms as soon as you walk in. And again, these guys are so simple to kill. Oh, wow, that would have been awesome if I did. If I caught them. I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, no, you don't. There, now he's dead. There we go. Okay, now we gotta do a little climbing. I like how... You can never do this in any Legend of Zelda game. At least I'm sure of. I've never seen Link do it in any other one. 
which I'm thinking about downloading the emulator or ROM for uh, Oracle of Seasons and Ages because I really want to play that one because I'm that again is the only two Zelda games I've never played. I've played all the rest of them except for the CDI, which is a perfect example why America should never try to make Zelda. It's just leave it to Nintendo of Japan and there. They can work on the dialogue and everything on how the script will be written. That is fine. But if they tried to make something like Phillips did, oh my god, that, it'd be so bad. Now, a lot of people say that Zelda Wii is going to be coming out this October. And I actually just want to kind of ramble on right here. Um, I... You know, I'd like to see Zelda Wii. Don't get me wrong, because I'm actually excited to see that. Um, but I just don't... I can't see it coming out this year, because from what I've been hearing, they're going to be making this... It's going to be, like, twice as better as Twilight Princess, which I really hope they do, because really what sequels should do is make like make the other one look like crap. I mean, really, that's just something people need to realize, that sequels need to start doing that. Um, but the thing is, Twilight Princess got pushed back, like, two years, and, like... Of course, it was worth the wait, but I just can't see how this game is going to be so like near perfect, or just perfect that I don't see that coming out in a one-year span that it was announced. I just can't see that happening. But I mean, I guess it could be possible. I mean, I think Majora's Mask was like I think I know it was delayed. I think it was just delayed. Like they finished that one in a year. Or so after Ocarina of Time came out, um, but I'm not gonna worry about it. What's in the past is done; it can't be fixed. Well, I guess on certain things it probably could, but I'm just gonna shut up. All right, now there's gonna be some fish in here. Don't even bother with them. You can—they pretty much won't attack you really if you're fast. Dang, I've been. <laughs> I'm used to pressing L to make the camera change, not the C stick, because that's how Ocarina of Time is. Yeah, like, I think one was trying to nibble on me, but it couldn't. Okay, again, just start climbing. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, so now we came in that way, so let's exit out this way, and we'll get a chest along the way. I know, actually, we're, we're pretty much done with the dungeon. All we gotta do is, um fight the boss, uh, and get the last piece of heart. Oh god, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, metal, the claw shot, if the jellyfish are doing their little attack, then, uh, that's not gonna work out too good. Oh wow, that was awesome. It was yellow ruby and the heart mixed into each other. Okay, let's go in here. It says there's a chest out there, but it's probably just more bombs and rupees, and I don't need really any of that. Okay, there's a bottomless pit under there, and unless you feel like committing suicide, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I think we're actually going to work our way back down the way we came. So, let's get on this. Okay, so let's hop on. Oh, God, that was so close. <laughs> I wasn't meaning to do that. Okay, now I can usually make this. Um... Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Just try not to get hit, because I think if you get hit, then you fall to your death. Now, again, I don't know. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Everything is spinning. I don't know how that goes. It's from Chowder on Cartoon Network. Um, it's that one episode where uh, Chowder and Snitzel have to make a delivery before sundown. I freaking love that show. I, lo I love Chowder. Uh, gosh, should have done it. Um, actually, let me get out the Kale Boomerang and kill those two keys, because those guys are going to get on my nerves really fast. Okay, come on. Get out of the way. Come on. Okay, there's one. No. Come on. <sighs> Screw it. Did I get one? No, I didn't. We're pretty much key fishing. Come on. There we go, we got one. And okay, let's just get this guy. Oh wow, I got both of them. Alright, so, tune in next time on Twilight Princess where we do more late bed temple. See you guys then, bye.